From using God Mode in LEGO Survival to becoming invisible huh? in Chapter 5, these are the most broken glitches in Fortnite. Turns out with the Grapple Blade, you can defy the laws of physics. Just fire it at a waterfall, and you'll start swimming up the mountain? And look, it's pretty easy to unlock vaults in Chapter 5, but if you're extra lazy and just want some bonus loot, people have found a way to break in without a key card. Alright, it looks cool and sure you get a ton of items to yourself, but there's no way to get out unless someone opens the vault. It makes for a great ambush though. Over in LEGO Fortnite, this mode is also falling apart. It's brand new, so that's to be expected, but people are literally eating, then spamming their bed only to unlock God Mode. It just keeps regenerating your health permanently for the rest of the session. Wolves and spiders just can't compete with you as you beat them with your bare hands. Thanks to Winterfest, snowball launchers are all over the map. If only they weren't completely broken. Turns out all you need is a gas can and flowberry to go fly. Huh? The glitches even affect rocket racing. Players are starting to realize just how easy it is to drive out of the map. I love how the game keeps yelling at you for going the wrong way, but I don't think that's the problem here, guys. And this is starting to happen in Battle Royale too. All thanks to everyone's secret drop spot, the cave in the mountains. People land here all the time, not realizing that a car could break everything. Yes! I am invincible! The players have been making their own vehicles in LEGO mode, and some of them are really impressive. Yet most of us only know how to make a small platform, and you wouldn't expect something this simple to freak out. Epic is fixing some of these, especially a glitch that ruined Battle Royale. There's a way that players are turning invisible, and it feels like this happens every season. Is there really a new Fortnite chapter if someone isn't invisible? Still doesn't stop people from breaking out of LEGO with just a bed. You can actually build in the cave systems, which is a cool feature, but this allows you to place beds in the wall. Move it in far enough, and the bed will only just stick out, enough for people to hop in and break through the cave. So yeah, I guess this is LEGO Fortnite's version of the Nether for now. Now most of the LEGO glitches have been funny, but some of them will straight up ruin your game. Ninja had hours of progress into his playthrough, only for a bug to destroy everything. Oh my god, I'm glitching, bro. Dude, I, 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 yeah. Well, and three of them aren't, or something like that. Get me out! They're probably no! Oh! Is he okay? How, like, have we not learned to not go in the cave? Uh, guys, I, I think it's gone. gone. It's all gone. I was in the middle of the tunnel. It's all gone. I lost everything. I might be the only person who turns off inventory dropping, but now I have a reason to. I can't stop laughing at Derpy Peter Griffin. And thanks to glitches, people are able to use built-in emotes on this guy, and it's ridiculous. Peely Pulse basically snaps his neck, and Kit's emote is horrifying, and Flake Shake turns Peter into a giraffe. Okay, but the funniest one is Jack Skellington's face. Where did Peter's hair go? It looks like he put a Halloween costume on or something. And I don't know if this is intended or not, but the enemies in LEGO actually have unlimited ammo. This means anyone with a crossbow just keeps shooting at you over and over again. And thanks to arrows being stuck in the wall, you can pick up as many as you want. With literally no effort, you have found an infinite arrow supply. And this reminds me of the infinite snowman glitch, which has confused everyone over in Battle Royale. If you talk to Leela, she sells sneaky snowmandos, but for some reason, they have unlimited limited ammo? Now this is actually double glitch because they also removed the cap on how many you could throw down at once. Obviously I wondered, could we finally stop the train with this method? Okay, I saw that coming, but the engineers of this train deserves like an award or something. Well, that didn't work. One of the most annoying things in LEGO Fortnite could actually be prevented. You ever gone up to a tree, tried to break it, and nothing happened? That zero damage counter is super frustrating, but did you know you could just place a wall, then break that to take the whole thing down? It even rewards you with more materials than usual. There's also a hidden spot on the BR Island that just straight up kills you. Now, all I'm saying is they should rename Snooty Steps to Deadly Steps, because this random light in the ground sends you straight back to the lobby without hesitation. At least you could avoid death in LEGO with this simple method. If you've ever accidentally stepped into lava, it could hurt badly. Luckily though, some caves have a ledge that stops you from getting hot feet. If you bounce into it, the animation will cancel, allowing you to walk on lava. You can even walk into the stream without any problems, or just dance around and confuse your friends. I don't recommend doing that, but you should make use of the grapple blade before it gets fixed. Right now, if you grapple into someone's box and destroy it, your character blocks the enemy from placing another wall, making this one of the best tactics in Fortnite right now. I'm in. Oh my god! Oh! 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 
<laughs> Honestly, the idea of someone just walking through your builds is pretty messed up. Just like the mysterious force field that is banning players from getting inside a vault. Yeah, look at this. What are you doing? You're running into a door. It's a door? Oh, it's open for me. <laughs> That's funny. Let me drop the medallion. Back. You do it. You might not be able to get their harder and loot, but you can in LEGO Fortnite. We've all had to check our inventories and realize how quickly they fill up. Sadly, there's no way to expand your backpack right now, but there is a glitch that lets you carry one extra item. When you pick something up with a full inventory, it moves the item on the floor. So you can just spam in a rack and drag this along with you. It takes a lot of effort, so just make sure the item's worth it. Wait until you try this in Battle Royale, only to look at the ammo on the floor and see two billion bullets. <laughs> Reckless Railway has a ridiculous exploit though. Somehow, players are able to find a roof with no collision, allowing them to hide inside and, well, cheat their way to Unreal Rank. That's a little ridiculous, but things get even weirder if you're riding a train. By standing on the front, the game thinks it's running you over and sends you flying into the air, basically making a custom trampoline. Help me! Help me! The glitch you shouldn't replicate is causing chapter 5 players to get infinite health. I mean, just look how broken this is. It's like Siphon on steroids. Even Stormsickness can't catch this guy. Bruh. Okay, never mind. I guess even after all that, Stormsickness still finds a way. A glitch you don't want to happen has been affecting festival players all week. They're super hyped to get into a lobby, load up their favorite song, and perform it for the crowd. Except that song never starts. Festival! All right, let's go. And I think the first song up is Billie Eilish. Why do I feel like I'm meant to be hearing some music right now on that emote? Right, this thing is bugged, man. Oh my word. This game mode is, is finished. Easily, the most broken glitch of Chapter 5 has to be infinite durability. Players in LEGO Fortnite discovered that if they place any damage tool or weapon into a chest and then broke it, somehow it would return to full HP. The glitch was so easy it had millions of players doing it, and that's why Epic had to officially patch it. Not all bad news, though. The devs listened to everyone's complaints, and now tools have at least 60% more durability. Thank you. One of the most consistent features we test every season is bugged for the first time. Midas' touch gets updated with each new loot pool, and it's fun to see how everything gets affected, but Chapter 5 messed up. While it works on new items like the Flowberry, it doesn't work at all on attachments, and is super buggy with the Riot Shield. I just don't understand why it's shiny in the floor. I can't run around with a giant golden shield. Now let me tell you, there's a bug right now that might be the most disgusting glitch in Fortnite history. While eating a pumpkin in LEGO mode, there's a chance you keep eating forever, and sure nothing too surprising until you realize the sound doesn't stop either. Thanks for that. I've lost my appetite for the next five days. Those are all the glitches in chapter five. It's been Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.